Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch Dead Island 2 game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer at once and then check. Still not working. The next step is to start Epic Online Services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. And then over here, find Epic Online Services. Make a double click on Epic Online Services. Set it to automatic, the startup type to automatic and then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. And now you can launch the game and then check. Now, if you are receiving any kind of Epic Online Services error, then you can perform the steps from this video. I made a separate video on this. So you can open the link in a browser the link is provided in the video description here you can see fix epic online services error so if you are receiving these errors you can try the steps from this video and then check now the next step is to go to this location now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open program for x86 now open epic games folder and then open the launcher folder now open portal folder now open extras folder now open EOS folder. Now here you can see Epic Online Services file. Make a right click or you can simply make a double click and install this. This will take a couple of seconds. So run this file and once this is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Make a right click on the game on Steam. Select Manage then click on Browse Local Files and then open Epic Online Services make a right click on epic online service installer run as administrator click on yes to allow now you can try to launch the game and then check next step is to install epic games launcher now before you install epic games launcher you can read this the epic games launcher is not compulsory but you can only play single player or multiplayer with only steam steam users but to only with steam player you can play if you don't install epic games launcher but to cross play with players who has the game on epic games store the epic games launcher will be required may be required i'm not sure but i think it will be required the epic online services is still required to play the game because it actually installs with the game so to install epic games launcher uh, you can go to google over here you can type in epic games launcher go to the epic website and then you can download the Epic Games Launcher, install it and make sure Epic Online Services is running. So you can go to services and start Epic Game Online user. Just follow the step one. Now the next step is to disable or enable Windows audio service. Now this has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. So first of all, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services and then find windows audio service here you can see windows audio make a double click set it to disable you can stop this i will not stop it otherwise i will not be able to record it so you can stop it select disable stop it and then apply ok and once this is done now you can launch the game and once you launch the game then you, you can go back to services make a double click on windows and set it to windows audio and then set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted you have to start the service once again once you launch the game after you launch the game start the windows audio service and then you can check now the next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to install files and then to on verify integrative game files after the verification launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option make a right click select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can close this and launch the game and then check if that does not work you can type in dash dx12 now you can close this now launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this from here and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's the geforce experience so select your product type and then select the right series so whichever is your series 
select your series in my case it's strategy series so select your series and then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then select game ready driver it should be by default and then click on search now click on download and then click on download once again now once the download is complete you have to run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see the screen now click on agree and continue and then select custom select custom over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the clean installation is done now you can restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game so make sure that you restart your computer after this and then restart your computer uh, and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in window search box and then click on graphics settings and over here click on browse and then go to the game installation folder open c drive if the game is installed in c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open dead island 2 folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and this time open dead island folder binary is win64 select this exe file now click on add and then click on options select high performance now click on save and then launch the game and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game and then select manage browse local files and then make a right click on exe file properties and then go to second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator apply ok and then launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows 8 apply ok launch the game if that does not work select properties and then this time select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if not working open dead island binaries win64 make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then again do the same thing run this program as an administrator apply ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time again select windows 8 apply ok launch the game if that does not work try windows 7 apply ok launch the game if that does not work disable full screen optimization apply ok launch the game now still not working you can uncheck all these boxes so when you put a check on these boxes if not working you can uncheck all these boxes hit apply click on ok go back and then do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and uncheck all these boxes and then launch the game now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security in that case you can open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 and then click on windows security if you have windows 10 you will have an option update in security then click on windows security virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder program file 686 open the steam folder steam apps common dead island 2 select the exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps open dead island folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder so open program file 686 now open the steam folder steam apps common 
Dead Island 2. Select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, browse, and then open Dead Island binaries Win64. Select this exe file, click on open, now click on add. In my case, both are already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 Two four five seven six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is sixteen gigabyte. I have sixteen gigabyte of RAM, so sixteen into one zero two four. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is three into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into three. That is. 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to Install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down and here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and download x64. You have to download both x86 and x64. Run this exe file. Now, if you see the install option, click on install. If you see the repair option, click on repair. Now, click on yes to allow. And then download the second file as well that is x64 again if you see the first of all run this exe file and then if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete once done now restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So if you have these devices connected, disconnect it. Disconnect additional USB adapter connected to the computer. Disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. Try launching the game on single monitor. Now if you have any third party application or services running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this you can go to Steam Maker, right click on the game, select properties. Turn off the option which is enable the Steam overlay while in game. Also if you have any kind of overlay application running like discord geforce experience or any overlay application you can just close it from here i have geforce experience running you can close it if you have discord running close it also if you have uh, any kind of 
overclocking application like if you have MSI afterburner, river tuner or any kind of overclocking application, just close it, close it and then launch the game. Perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. In my case, this option is grayed out disable all. First of all, you have to put a check on hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, I already did it. That's why this is not highlighted right now. In your case, disable all would be highlighted. So put a check over here and then click on disable all. Click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows update or update and security. Click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, now restart your computer after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to now you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. So uh, you can switch to window mode, not full screen window mode, just window mode. You can try to switch to window mode and then lower down graphic settings. If you're not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. So launch the game if you can. So now go to options and then go to display. Now over here, if this is set to window full screen, you can switch to window mode. Now if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And if the VSync is on, you can turn it off and then check the performance. Yeah. And if maximum frame rate is like high, you can set it to 60. And then if HDR is on, you can turn it off. Now go to advanced option over here. Now if overall quality is set to ultra, you can set it to medium. You can even go for low quality. For me, I will set it to medium. And then if this AMD FSR is on, if you are set it to on, you can set it to quality. So if you want this on, you can set it to quality and then apply the settings and then check the performance. Sure. Now the next step is to update your system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have Asus computer, go to Asus. HP user, go to HP website. And then select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then install the latest BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger, is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game and then check. Last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to another drive, first of all, uninstall the game. And then once you uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder. And then restart your computer. And after the system restart, try installing the game to C drive if the game is installed in different drive. Now, if the game is already installed in C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.